Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Azure Data Factory series. So in this uh, data flow series, of course, we are now into uh, data flow and mapping data flow. Uh, in the previous video, we have seen uh, how join can be used within ADF data flow. So in this section, let's try to explore about filter option. Okay, so let's try to understand uh, what is filter and uh, how we have an out of box filter option within uh, data flow and how we can use that. So yes, so filters. So what are filters? So if you're coming from, you know, database or SQL programming language background, so then you know how to write a where condition within a SQL query. Let's, let's say this is our table where we have three columns, ID, name and designation. So now I wanted to just filter out where ID is equal to one. So which means I, I expect the result in this case. So when I wanted to uh, only get an output uh, where I would say that, you know, uh, select uh, star uh, from uh, EMP table, right? And then I would say uh, where uh, ID is equal to one, right? So basically this is more or less the SQL query which we uh, write for a filter condition. So now let's try to convert uh, this filter option in the Azure data flow and see how we can implement it there. So if I go to my Azure data factory AD of instance, let's try to create a new data flow. So you know how to do that. Click on these three dots and then click on new data flow. And let's try to take a source. Okay. And this data flow will be data filter data flow. Let's give it a name as filter underscore uh, data flow. And then here on the source, let's say this is uh, employee uh, back file, right? Uh, from the storage account. And then either you can create a new data set or we can use the existing data set. Let's try to pick the employee one. So before getting into this employee one, let's try to see what this data looks like. If I click on preview data, under the data sets, I already have an employee data set created. And if I click on preview data, I can already see the same data set with three columns, ID, name, and designation. So our goal is to filter a row where ID is equal to one. Now close this. Now what we need to do here is, you can also preview the data here itself, right? Let's not do that. So if you click on this plus sign, you see again, a couple of options here. So within this, we need to select a filter option. I think that is it. So once you select that one, give a filter, the name for this uh, stream, and then give a description, and then choose the incoming stream. And this is where you write your filter condition, right? So if I click on that uh, open expression builder, then I will have a new console open for me. And then you can see uh, all the expression elements on the left side. If you click on all, you get a big list of everything, right? And if you just wanted functions, right? Within this filter uh, step, you have a list of functions as well. So for instance, you can use, um, uh, let's try to understand. So ABS, right? Uh, absolute value. So it, it accepts a numeric value and it will try to you know, uh, round it up. And then you can also use this add function where it will try to take two values first and the second, and then it will try to add. So in the similar fashion, you have a big list of functions and you can also use them. And then if you click on input schema, you see this is basically the metadata or the schema coming from the input stream. This is like the source one which we selected. And then if you have any parameters or lookups or any data flow fun library function, you can also see it here. So now what is our um, uh, requirement is, so we choose ID and then you can also see there are already an additional list of shortcuts which are uh, given here. So we wanted to use equal to where ID is equal to one. Basically, this is what we want to uh, achieve here, right? And uh, save and finish. Uh, type integer is not matching with the required type uh, string. Okay, let's try to open that. Uh, 
so you need to give it within the quotes because uh, the value within this id content uh, the value within that is a string so that is why it is uh, uh, expecting its string you can also see uh, the data type as well here let's try to you know uh, preview the data source so that you know what type of data you're dealing here so that you can also use them in your filter conditions so previously it was giving us an error that uh, you need to add quotes uh, uh, around the value but now we can see uh, once the data preview shows up uh, what is the actual data type of those three columns I think it's uh, gonna take some time. Uh, let's try to see if we can find that uh, here itself. Yeah, so for instance, if I click on this input schema, you can already see it's A, B, C, A, B, C, A, B, C. So which means the data type of all these three columns um, is a string. So that is why it was not taking uh, integer when I was adding it under filter condition. Okay, so uh, that is it. And then uh, you can also click on a refresh to do a data preview. So basically, according to the filter condition, it should only give us one record where the ID is equal to one, and then the name is equal to winner, and then the designation. So you can also see the data type as ABC, ABC, and ABC here. So then the next step would be either if you wanted to do further transformations, you can also add it after filter conditions, or then if you don't want anything, you just wanted to output the value then you can simply choose sync here and this would be a normal uh, standardized uh, flow then you can choose a data set and then um, uh, create a data set or use an existing data set to write these values to your file or you can also use a database where you want to in apply some CRUD operations yeah I think uh, that is it for this video uh, we hope that you really enjoyed this video and uh, we really appreciate if you can subscribe to our channel that really encourages and motivates motivates us to make more uh, interesting videos on, on Azure and uh, various services within Azure. Thank you so much and have a nice day.